Hi, in last video, we implemented the rotating triangle, and let's learn more about 2D transformation in this video. We will work through translation, rotation, scaling, and at last, we will take a look of the 2D matrix. So let's get started. Instead of a triangle, I draw a L, and actually those L are made from triangles. I can delete part of them. Just Let's start from the translate. I'm going to add a new uniform, call it translate. Why add a uniform to translate it instead of add a delta to every position? Because in this way, it's much more complicated. I should add those delta to every position. Mm. So it's not recommended and uh, I should get the position of this uniform. Say, translate. And uh, I should set the value of this translate uniform. And uh, in the vortex shader, I'm going to add a new vortex called it translated position translate and instead of using the position I should use the translated position for the position nomination now we got the translated graphic let's continue let's add an one more uniform called it scale uh, and the same as before we should get the location of this uniform and uh, say two Scale the position is a equals to mm, did not work. Uh, I should use the scale position here. Okay, it's it's a uh, it's grew bigger horizontally. Now let's add a float call it angle. Mm, how to rotate the graphics? Uh, it's got a little bit complicated. So let's say if we have a point and we want to rotate it to a rotated angle, call it alpha. This is y, I should use y new, and the uh, default angle is, uh, is theta. And so we want to rotate it in alpha. So the new x um, equals to r. So, if we got the angle, we can um, got the rotated position, position, and it equals to position dot x multiply cosine angle plus. Position dot y and multiply sine angle and let's say x this time y x plus and uh, 
should use the rotated rotated position. Let's get the location of this of this uniform. Say angle and angle uniform. The, let's set the value to angle uniform location to less dot pi divided by six. It just uh, 30 degree. Not working. Something something wrong, sorry. Ah, it should be one. If you see, so this is rotated. Um, I can use the counter. So we just implemented the translation, rotation, and scaling. Now let's take a look about the matrix. Uh, let me say for scaling, we have x and y. Uh, if we multiply it by uh, matrix and uh, this is uh, scale x and this is scale y we can have the same effect I'm just hard code uh, for the scale x let me use let me use 2 and for the scale y let me use 2 You see, we have the same effect. And uh, for the rotation, The translation is different because we can't get it done in a two multiply two matrix. Uh, we should use a th uh, three three multiply three matrix for get the translation. So we should add another value. Just put it one, and uh, for the translation. We can put the dx and delta x and delta y here. So for the end result, we'll get it. It seems to x plus delta x, y plus delta y, and one, and, and uh, do we get one and zero? And we only need those two. So that's for the translation. So instead of put the scale angle, uh, we can put a three by three matrix. Call it transform ma matrix and uh, pass the matrix to the vertex shader. So the program will become clear. It actually solved another problem. Currently, we are rotating first, scaling at the second. If we want a, if we want a translation first, we have to modify the program to the to use the position first, and using the translation and this. Basically. We have a different shader, so for different order, we have to provide a different vertex shader. It makes no sense to me, so we can just pass matrix to vertex shader, and I will attach the code which is using 
metrics instead of using those word text to do those three translations. Let me put the code back. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, for tomorrow, I will introduce how to implement a 3D cube in WebGL. Thank you for watching.